This week on the show, we're featuring Blue Opal, Burnt LED Under the Microscope Cam, Chain on Why'd I Buy That, 33 New Jokes, and Intense Levels of Calm. I'm too classy to eat cottage cheese. I only eat 1840s Victorian mansion cheese. Let's start the show. Like in this blue opal. <laughs> Got excited when I saw it. When I started my gemstone endeavor, I said, I want to find a nice big translucent blue stone. Of course, sapphires are blue and translucent, but they're not very big. And neither is the blue quartz. The chalcedony, but that's not really the right color of blue. Appetite is the right color of blue that I'm looking for. It's like a vibrant electric neon sea blue. Reminds me of like tropical ocean. Which really, I think I would like to go and live near the tropical ocean but really there's like a lot of salt and bugs and humidity and we all know those three things are just not comfortable so i'll just buy one of those calendars you know and i'll look at it instead of looking at the snow outside <clears throat> ah, i didn't know what to do with this piece so much stuff inside of it, but I wanted to get rid of the stuff inside of it. I was able to get about a half a dozen pieces of this blue opal. It's not very common. That's what I like about it. It's special, right? Like all of you. Thank you for coming by the show. Lovely people. Fighting evil genius genetics. Either he's an evil genius and he's fighting. And. Like he's got gene tickets. That's why it's ticks. Because it's, you know, he's, selling, he's like Ticketmaster. GeneTicks.com. Get your tickets today. It's awesome talking about, uh, really, my 13-year-old son hungry for this content. I don't think you're familiar with the show. But, <laughs> but thank you. Yeah, uh, you know, the cool thing about um, this type of hobby is that it it's really affordable to get started. If you consider... The price of, you know, getting into like the fantasy cuts of the stones where you're cutting concave and then polishing the laps, the machine, the fastening machines are like five grand. But when you get to this like little lapidary disc the just the disc, 11 bucks. So if you get like three of those, I'll tell you, grab yourself a hundred grit, a 240 and a 1000. That's usually what I use. And you don't need one of these grinders like I have. You can get a uh, like a bench grinder and take the wheel off. Use some washers and clamp that on there. That'll work well enough. Hang yourself up a little bit of water dripping down. You'll have yourself some stone grindery. I tell you what, another thing is in the middle of the wheel, I have those uh, knurled thumb screws. That was a good option. I almost went with wing nuts. Those would probably tear my fingers off. But the knurled thumb screws, I hit those things all the time. Burn my fingernails down. It's all good. Because, you know, 
they grow back. It's not not like you know being near a skill saw or something it's like a wood blade in it. Footage. That was that video. Where's the next video? <clears throat> nope, that was three years ago footage. We need today's years ago footage. Oh, it's still in the gall darned phone. Blast it all. Too much stuff, not enough time. Trying to make some salsa. 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 Trying to make the first batch of salsa. I like to get a batch of salsa in in July, but I didn't get to that. This is uh, August salsa. August salsa is always good. September salsa is also very good. I do like that as well. So one of these two salsas. If I can get this round done. I will be able to compare it with the other one. Where is the blingin' blog flingin' flangin' <clears throat> blinkety blue one? And it takes its time. I think it's the next one. Yeah. That's a piece of diopside. Good job, Jake, bud. Hmm. A picture vacation. It's a bright blue. It It is bright blue. And so are you. I'm listening. Sharice. Hi, Jacob. Miss Collette and chat artwork. At work listening. To artwork. Which is what you can be listening to. How is it going? Welcome to the program. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Since he was a little kid, he'd been picking up rocks, looking for gold or something pretty. Yeah, that's one of the things. That's one of the things, fighting, is that I have little rocks that I picked up from when I was like four years old. And I still have those, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Uh, but let's see. Mish... We're taking best, um, it should be Northern Michigan, and I'm going to look this up, but I think it's Greenstone, Michigan, Greenstone, yup, 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 it kind of looks like turtle shell, it's got like dark things with light lines in it, and it's rare to Michigan, and it's hard enough that you can polish it. So get if you're gonna go like overseas or something like that, make sure you go and grab you some, and then uh, pump a light. The state gemstone is chlorastrolite, a variety of mineral pumpalite. It also goes by the common name of greenstone or Isle Royal greenstone term greenstone can be confusing in that it is both a rock and a mineral term <clears throat> and uh, waste rock piles which dot the Keweenaw Peninsula in the western upper peninsula of Michigan the best localities from the beaches of Isle Royale Prohibited since 2000. Huh. Far out. Looks pretty cool, though. I mean, it looks like a neat stone. You could definitely make, like, a Ninja Turtle pendant out of it or something like that. I think we're on to something here. Um, speaking of which, being on something, let's uh, get to the microscope cap. Portion. I can pull it up, show you guys a little bit of blue opal. 
and this burnt LED. You know, when I think of LEDs, I think of them as not burning out. But they do. They burn the crap out of themselves. It happens. <sighs> I guess it's probably about 10 years old, and I was driving it kind of hard. Opening the microscope again. Okay, I got to adjust it so that you're not getting blinded by the too much <clears throat> i'll show you basically two different colors of this blue opal or versions of it and the blue the bluery one the less sea green one that's the one i'm talking about that's the vacation one oh hold on a second Okay, there we go. Microscope cap. What do we got? A blue one. And... Eggex. Hello. Have you ever been to the Manitou Islands? No, but man... It... Too seems like a nice... Place to sounds like a nice place to go. I like islands. I'm partial to islands. I want my own island. I want basically a castle with a moat, but the moat is so big that it actually counts as an island. <clears throat> blue and kind of a sea greenish, but they're both blue Ethiopian opals, which is also the same stuff that's up in the corner. So I was kind of learning about it, and that's that's what we wound up with. But I also wanted to show you this burn-up LED. What is in the Manitou Islands? Is there, like, some gemstones? Some cool stuff? That's my son. He found that. It's supposed to be in Michigan. Ah, okay. That's cool. Because, I mean, that was one of the things. I was like, if I go to see Twisted Roots, I'm going to have to go and get some Michigan Greenstone. Because, I mean, Ninja Turtles, right? Totally. That was, a, that was my thing when I was a kid. But notice how the metal is kind of brown on one side and not on the other. And then, <clears throat> for these two pieces of metal, they, they do have a gap in the middle of them. And then there's a little wire that crosses the top. Right across the top of it. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on it. Hmm. Since th this is a manual zoom, I have to do it manually. I'm going to make my own sound effects. Ding! See, there's the little wire. It goes from the one piece over to the other piece. But it got so hot it started burning the the plastic, the glue, the, the clear stuff. And uh, that actually didn't give out. 
So I won't say it's burnt up. It's just burnt generally. What what happened was this lead snapped off the one on the other side. So that's like where it got hot and then it got brittle. Now I will admit this is actually an LED for an old freezer. <clears throat> I put, I put I I have the the plug in the little box, you know, the box you plug in the wall makes DC, you look on there, you can see wire comes out, goes to a magnetic switch. And then the other side of the magnetic switch is on the door. And then there's a wire that from the magnetic switch that pokes inside and the LEDs in there pointing at stuff. The important things. All right. And then it, it's getting warm and cold and warm and cold. And I had used a different resistor because Tim Taylor, you know, you got more power. Literally, I was giving it more power. Anyways. Oh, yeah. There, I'm putting it on the spoon. Okay, I'm, I've am i been holding you guys hostage for way too long. I'm just going to talk about something. The spoon. So, spoons and stuff, right? <clears throat> like this. This is an appetite from a little while ago. I put it on a gold spoon. So, really, I just glued the uh, stone onto this thing that's called a spoon. It's, you know, you just glue it on there and then you put it on a necklace or a bracelet or an anklet, something like that. But it's still not done. It's kind of like if with making the gems, it's like if I have logs and I make lumber, but I need to finish it, you know, and make a table. And so I'm making the, the, I put it on the spoon and that's like putting a chair together. Now you have a stool, but you add a back to it. And so I put the chair, the chain on and... Then you um, have a finished product. Now, why did I buy the chain at Walmart? Because it was convenient. There's so much to choose from and it's hard to tell if I'm getting taken advantage of. I needed to learn a little bit. So what I did is I went to Walmart and I saw what they had available for the absolute cheapest price. And... Uh, it's it you know it it's mostly about looks it's not really for wearing it's not sturdy stuff but it was there and i got it it was like 350 for four different chains and I, you know i was learning so i'm learning starting out but at least i got there right and that's what i bought and that's why i bought that because it was available and convenient and i could see it in real life what is the place that you go the most in michigan the place that I go the most in Michigan is no, nowhere yet. Because I haven't been there yet. But I need to, right? It seems like such a night... Like, when I think of Michigan, I think of lakes and, and trees. And we have trees here. <clears throat> we have a lot of corn, too. There's a lot of fields of corn. I think they call them cornfields. For some reason that makes sense. You mean, you know what doesn't make sense? Nope, not an interview. This uh jokes. Jokes do not make sense. 13 8th grade. Uh-oh. We will avoid the adult jokes that I might or might not have because I don't know because I haven't been paying attention. <clears throat> Still getting caught up since I missed so many shows. I'm getting caught up on all the jokes. This is this is another 33 joke chunk, but there's like probably another that many that I'm not going to get to, but that's okay because that means we have jokes for next week. What do I have this week? I wanted to take a moment to complain that things are so expensive. This year I'm sending out my Christmas card like a sponsor this family card. Yeah, that one's not very funny either. Uh, most of these jokes aren't aren't funny. They're new. They're brand new stuff. Write it myself. DIY kind of guy. You know, I work on my own car. I don't want to take my car to the mechanic and have some other mechanic putting their hands all over it. So ladies, if we get married, you'll never have to go to the gynecologist. 
Ah, uh, man, American mosquitoes are the worst. I mean, Americans are overeaters. American mosquitoes are probably overeaters, too. No wonder they're always trying to bite. Um, I'm annoyed by morning people. It's one of my pep peeves. Not really, but it was a wordplay joke, right? I'm dating a girl with teenage boys and they're disgusting pigs. A truly manly level of disgusting. And I don't want to be emasculated by her kids being grosser than I am. Uh, oh, that's an unfinished joke. I have to have an example of me being gross, but then an example of me also setting a good example. <clears throat> Sandwiches. Sandwiches are great. Um, I, like, I'm so great at making submarine sandwiches, I've decided to start selling them. That's why I made a grinder profile. Subgrinders. Actually, who doesn't love a good sandwich, right? I mean, that's why Sub S Subway is releasing the new Ocean Gate Submarine Sandwich. It comes with five types of meat, a really thin tortilla wrap, and an overload of sea salt. For a limited time, available to those who arrive too soon. Uh, let's see. This doesn't make sense. This is a note. Choc I tried to buy some chocolate, and I can't tell if it's generic or brand name because it had cursive writing on it, so I can't tell. It's either fancy, or they're trying to make it look fancy. Uh, let's see. Ladies, here's a little known secret. Or, a, a, yeah, little known secret. Not many people know the secret. When guys ejaculate, our penis has fantasies about being Spider-Man. Oh, it's so gross. I gotta stop telling that joke. Uh, I told it at, like, the open mic on Tuesday and one other time. It sucks being tall. Especially in a lightning storm, I'm the first one to get struck. I'd have to wear really thin shoes to increase my odds. Someone asked me if I prefer to be called Jake or Jacob. I said my psychiatrist says it's both. Um, I don't know why girls like wearing cheetah print. They should be wearing cougar print. There is no cougar print. That doesn't. I like meeting people. That's why Alzheimer's is great. Makes you forgetful. And so you, you can be like, oh, hey, how's it going? Oh, hey, nice to meet you. All day. Great. Uh, let's see. Somebody said that this is this is a joke that uh, Rachel Reamer told me. And so I'm going to give her the credit for this one. Uh, cause I want her to keep working on her jokes. I was encouraging her and, uh, she said that her husband had, uh, grabbed her hand at night. She, you know, she laid down, they lay down and she, and her husband grabbed her hand and, and she's like, what are you trying to do? Rape my hand. And so the next night her husband slipped a little bit of money into her hand. It's a terrible joke. Uh, let's see. Oh, off. The, the mosquito brand, brand off is coming out with a weight loss supplement for mosquitoes. Yeah, that ought to help with that uh, overeating. If an ambulance hits somebody, do they stop or keep going? If we're at this point in the choke portion, do we stop or keep going? <laughs> I had a flat tire... It, and it went flat fast, man. I mean, it went flat faster than a Sprite soda. I can't... Things are getting expensive. I can't afford cottage cheese. I have to eat shanty cheese, hovel cheese, or shack cheese. <clears throat> um, Actually, that's kind of wrong. It's backwards. I'm. The truth is, I'm classy. I'm too classy to eat cottage cheese... I only eat 1840s Victorian mansion cheese. Uh, I tried to book a comic for a show. I wanted a big name. I accidentally booked Carrie the label guy. I tried to look 
book Larry the Cable Guy, but I accidentally booked Carrie the Label Guy. I will say he was the funniest labeler ever. I like to wear suspenders because I like suspense. Like the suspense of wondering if that joke is actually funny. I don't clean my house to entertain people because I don't entertain people. People don't come over anymore. The modern day version of cleaning house to entertain is deleting posts before sending a friend request. Uh, give, give yourselves a hand. Why? Because you made it out of the house, and that's so tough to do these days. Good job. Which reminds me, I've been watching the news, and it's got me so depressed that I've decided to buy death insurance. Because at this point, I'm not sure it's ever going to happen. Oh, hey, I do stupid things sometimes. You know, like recently I had my wisdom teeth removed. Because I can't stand having a pair of teeth that are smarter than I am. Uh, let's see, I went on a date. It was a dating app date. And it just feels cheaper because it was affordable. Like, I got, you know, the, the cheaper rate. And it's, I'm just jealous. It's like, oh, you met organically? Good for you. Well, at least I was able to use the brand name dating app. So it, it wasn't all lost. <clears throat> that was a dumb... Dumb rant. Uh, I got a job as a lifeguard for a carpool. I'm eggnogstick, where I drink eggnog religiously. Um, I would, uh, would have. <clears throat> oh, I, uh, let's see. Ladies, I would have asked you out earlier, but it took me a while to have a little enough amount of fucks to give that's dumb and lastly no song no please at my funeral no sappy songs for me at my funeral play the final countdown because it's the joke portion of the program all right you guys are freaking fantastic thank you for coming by the show ron weasley i gotta go make the salsa man fighting evil genius hope you enjoy the show and your son i hope um i didn't talk to i don't know the freaking line on content is so weird um <clears throat> let's see only flat on the bottom okay <laughs> I, I gotta go make some salsa you guys are awesome uh, I, I will be doing another gem next week. I don't know which one it is. I'm going to try for a pink one. But either way, great show, great comments. You guys are fantastic. Have a great week because you have the power to do as much as you can. And you're going to do it because you're awesome like that. I'll see you next